So you mentioned different types of vitamin K, vitamin K1, which typically comes from green leafy vegetables, vitamin MK4, which is a type of vitamin K2, which typically comes from animal-based foods, and to your point, is the only one that's produced by the body. And then there's MK7, which typically comes from fermented foods uh, like uh, the Japanese natto that some people may be familiar with. So if someone is thinking about supplementing vitamin K2 in order to prevent the calcification and make sure it's going to the bones instead of the soft tissues, as you point out, uh, which form should they take and, and what, what do you think an appropriate <coughs> dosage would be? Are they wow. interchangeable or are they, or are they different? Good. I will catch on the last phrase. Thank you for asking me that, Dr. Seppa. They are interchangeable. And, and if you were to ask me even a month ago, I, I would only stick to it. I only bear out what I know. Less than a month ago, it seemed like vitamin K1, the phyloquinone, converts to vitamin K2, and it's specifically the MK4. Others are unknown. Surprisingly, in Journal of Nutrition, is EPUB. You can Google it. They tried it in animal. They gave a group of animal control, so there's a control group, and then they give, which means that there's standard amount of vitamin K1 and K2. Member the body makes it, so they have a baseline level. Then they gave another group uh, MK4, so you would expect that the MK4 would absorb. Then they gave another group MK7 and MK9. That group it also convert to MK4. Mm -hmm. This is remarkable and then they give them phyloquinone vitamin k1 it also went to mk4 so oh my god so that means that evolutionarily whatever vitamin k we take it converts to mk4 so now i said wow this is more than meets the eye like that you know however i just wanted to be clear right. if you take this vitamin in the gut the gut would ferment. Now, you mentioned the Japanese natto is more than that, Dr. Seppa. In the Western diet that we eat, if you eat cheese, if you, of course, if you're Korean, all of it eat kimchi, right. all these are fermented. Anything that ferment, even in soya sauce, they're fermented soya bean like that. Anything that is fermented or even cured meat like that, uh, a lot of Italian cured meat it escaped my right. mind now. Prosciutto. Like Prosciutto, thank you, thank you. So, or, or even ham, you're going to find some MK because of the fermentation of the bacteria. I wanted to say that to qualify that. Short of that, MK4 is unique. And now a, a published study, it is from University of Texas, Tough University, this two, and then there may be a third institution published in Journal of Nutrition. Whatever the vitamin K that is a feed material, it converts to MK4. So to answer your question, perhaps then a blend of vitamin K and including GG make good sense for the proper balance of vitamin K in the body. That is uh, for the clotting factor, for the removal of bacterial calcification for the strengthening of the bone for all this uh, thing and for the synthesis of mk4 in our body and for synthesis of coq10 so this is a new age that until now we didn't know so i think of this vitamin k now have a new lease of life in the path of anti-aging